Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them read. Sagittarius, let's see how you're feeling now, how, you, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Sagis, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Sagittarius. Okay newcomers, um, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for the person that's connected to your energy. Uh, that's for the other side and um, well in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Sagittarius, you'll know which side you resonate best with right for me this is going to be person a this is going to be person b and bottom of my deck i have the ten of wands in reverse well is something coming to an end or um, does some i think one person wants the past baggage to be dropped i do sense that uh, one person here really wants this happily ever after and you know things should not get disrupted let's have a second chance mm, the other person is I think gone a bit silent, they could be stagnant, um, <clears throat> they could be thinking right now, could have gone into a little bit of hermit mode, trying to just buy time and see what is the right thing to do. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to of course clarify all these cards for you. Um, uh, Sagittarius <laughs> but before I do that let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I clarify these Sagittarius and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Sagittarius and their person Sagittarius and their person Sagittarius and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Thank you. Let's take a few more Sagis from another deck. Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and their person. Alright. And just a few more Sagis from a third deck as well. And then we can start the reading. Sagittarius and and their person. <laughs> All right, so let's start the reading. And um, well, if any of you are looking for personal reading, Sagittarius, my email is omkaratarot at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card says, I'm under so much stress. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate. But I really don't want to have to. I know I hurt you. Please forgive me. I got a whiff of your scent. It made me smile, remembering you. I believe we are meant to be together. I still have your pictures on my phone. You're too good for me. Let's talk and clear the air. I need security. I really didn't believe in marriage until I met you. You don't have to build an empire alone. Let me build one with you. They keep saying you're coming back, but you're not here yet. Are you coming back? I want you to trust me. Trust me that I'll know the right time to take things to another level. Can I trust you not to break my heart again? I don't care what my family or anyone else has to say. I want you and nobody else. You check all my boxes. How, how can that be possible? <laughs> all right, Sagittarius, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, 
advice or a message sagittarius child so yeah there is a, there is an ending and a new beginning from what i'm seeing at least that's what at least but that's what my angels are saying there is a possibility for brand new start but once these past baggages can be dropped right so maybe there's been some lies in this connection or something's going on on so let's start clarifying these cards of course Sagittarius and figure it out and uh, newcomers these are just two soul energies I don't know which side you're on right this is this one side would, would be you if this is your reading the other side would be somebody who's very connected to your energy who's affecting it and with these dialogue message cards of course you've already picked up who, who this person is uh, could be your love interest spouse could be your best friend could be a parent child dynamic a sibling or a business partner for all i know but um, this person is heavily affecting your energy and so showing up let's see where this goes so right now i'm going to focus only on person a and that's it so person a tell me what's in your emotions feelings ten of cups what's the ten of cups ten of cups okay and uh, I think per one second let me just take the judgment card as well what's the judgment card person a judgment one more ah see this is like somebody who's who faith who feels this is a, this was or is a perfect connection like this is a ten of cups this is my two of cups but maybe it's something has happened here where there's been some kind of a rift or trouble between the two of you and uh, i think person a is a bit afraid of being le being left behind in the cold or just being abandoned or something they want a second chance they want a second chance even though i feel i they're not sure they're not sure because they feel that uh, you know it won't make them feel good if this connection comes to an end i think person a wants a second chance here even though things may be very stagnant right now maybe person a feels disrespected maybe they feel you know a little upset that that person is not uh, valuing them uh, i think person a is still wishing and hoping that um, a second chance is possible in this connection yes this they feel they at least person a says i've made my decision i've made my choice omkara taro that i don't want this connection to end i don't want the feelings between us to die or this connection to end and i've made a i've made a decision that this is what i want i want this stability for the rest of my life a long lasting connection and that's my choice all i'm doing is now waiting and wishing to see what the other person is going to decide why do you feel this way person a the tower okay so somebody something has kind of uh, crumbled in this connection in the past and uh, maybe there's been a bit of a blockage between the two of you now uh, things have ended things have come kind of really really ended here after this tower maybe the other person has pushed them away or maybe person a pushed them away in the beginning whatever said and done this could have been uh, I think person A still wants to fight for this connection even though it's ended even though you know the tower has happened I think person A still wants to work on this connection they're not sure they're not sure whether they'll be able to manifest a return but they are wishing for it that much I, I can assure you yeah it's maybe you guys had some fight or there was some argument or maybe some certain things were said whatever said and done right now person is very very frustrated because they feel that person is um, that person is maybe or maybe person a doesn't want to be single they're looking at their future they're looking at their future and feeling um, either i don't know person a could also be feeling that the other person is choosing somebody else 
or trying to get unstuck from them to be able to be single and move somewhere else i don't care what what's happening here sagittarius but person a whatever said and does want what does want a second chance they don't want to live in this lack they want to open up but the problem here is i think the other person is not talking to them or not messaging them and that's the reason things are stagnant at this time so person a tell me how do you see the connection now how do you feel about person b and how do you feel about this connection uh, person a says yes things are still in troubled waters between us omkara taro but i do want a brand new start uh, i i want this past conflicts to be over whatever's been keeping this connection stuck to be over i want to end all these you know arguments fights whatever have happened i want everything to be over and i want a firm decision to be made two of swords in reverse and the decision is of course let's reconcile the person a says i want to reconcile yeah person a says that would really make me very 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 happy i would feel all my dreams and wishes would come true if we could just come back together they would make a you know decision once and for all and we can have a new beginning so person a is kind of very clear whatever's happened whatever's broken down even if things are not good right now i want a second chance okay so this is the action card for person a and uh, which of course i'll open later sagittarius let's go to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b page of pentacles in reverse you also feeling the stagnancy yeah the person b is kind of feeling yeah things are mm, not very solid between us omkara taro uh, things are really stagnant things haven't been working out uh, there has been a collapse in the structure Uh, I'm feeling a bit stuck right now. We are not really moving towards each other. There is a blockage. Um, high priestess, high priestess. Person B is right now silent because they are still in the middle of making that choice. They are. They've gone a bit silent. They've gone inwards. They may be just trying to listen to their intuition. Whether they they want to rebuild this uh, tower that has broken. Whether they want to put in the work. They. I think they want to, but they are kind of right now in between a decision. But they also have regrets. They feel bad about how things never worked out. Maybe you know. there was shame guilt remorse for whatever happened maybe one one of you maybe person b themselves maybe lied cheated in the past or did something they they know that they were a huge part of this deception and uh, maybe they they were trying to behave like a player or something i don't know in the past and they know that 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 was primarily the reason why the structure broke down between the two of you so they are also kind of trying to take their time and kind of figure things out trying to make the wise wise choice so maybe that this person could be a bit depressed right now as well so person b tell me why why do you feel this way that you have to take some time to make that choice emperor uh they are showing up in a good light they do want to do what is right for everyone they are little burdened uh, about the fact that uh, uh, if they make the wrong choice it could be the end of a very long standing connection or a, uh, you know something that could go the long haul this person is little burdened even even to choose not to choose right to choose or not to choose both ways i think this person is very burdened uh ace of wands ace of wands they don't want to rush off on a passionate brand new journey and then realize later that they've they've made the wrong choice or they they've made a wrong or a foolish decision that's the reason i think right now they they don't even want to communicate they are, they just want to take a little time to themselves this person is totally stagnant they they don't know whether they what they should do it's like they want to do the right thing they are showing up in a good light as an emperor in the upright so it's like yeah they have the responsibility of how things are going to go from now on uh this person wants to work on something which later they don't regret it's like yeah they're kind of contemplating contemplating 
what to invest in, what to put their energy and effort in. This person is very scared to make the wrong choice where, you know, later later on they may realize that, oh my God, I shouldn't have, this is too much stress, this is too much anxiety. Mm, I, I have a feeling they are stuck somewhere. Okay, so person B, tell me, you tell me, how do you feel about person A now and how do you feel about this connection? Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune? I think person B does does see person A and this connection uh, as a good connection. They do like the partnership that you both have. They want to be fair. They want to have an equal give and take. They want to at least keep a working relationship because yes, person A does give them a lot of happiness. So then why is the contemplation? Why is the hermit here? What's the contemplation then? One more. One more. They would have to, if they, I don't know, this person is hiding something, I don't know what this is. Uh, they f either feel they would have to apologize to somebody for they know one way or the other who whatever they turn their back on or whoever in case they have somebody else on the side they know that to get one connection going or to get one connection going they would have to lose another I don't know what this is. Give me, give me one more. What are you thinking? Uh, what are you thinking person uh, B? What's this hermit? What's the hermit? Yeah, see this person is trying to be strong. They don't want to look embarrassed or ashamed if they choose something. That gives them happiness. This person is a very responsible person. It's like, I want to do the right thing. It's like they want to be the one who is responsible, who levels up, who does right and very moralistic kind of a person if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, even if they feel that the, the love is lost, they still want to do the right thing. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer something. They want to offer something even if... What's the Ace of Pentacles? Tell me, what are you thinking? I mean, person B seems to be in deep contemplation. Hermit mode, high priestess mode, don't want to make the wrong choice. I want to do the right thing. They just... They are stuck. They are absolutely stuck. As much as they want to cut some chains which keep them stuck, they are just wanting a little time. I'm sorry to say that Sagittarius, this person is not in a place right now emotionally I think to make that decision because they know they need to make the right choice and that I think this person kind of uh, feels good about the fact that they are looked upon as an emperor or a king of pentacles and they are uh, relied upon or they are the ones who have to make the wise decisions and they feel that if they lose that power it would end up breaking hearts one way or the other it's going to break somebody's heart and that's the reason this person is not communicating at the moment they, they want to take some time. They want to take some time because they don't want to end up being the one who makes promises and doesn't keep them or is, is seen as, you know, a, a promise breaker or a heartbreaker. They are trying to, they just need time, I feel. They just need some time. So, okay, let's do the action cards and we'll do your overall energy. I'm going to take another deck for this one and while I shuffle these cards, Sagittarius, may I please request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate. 
keeps me motivated thank you and newcomers repeating viewers do share like subscribe to the channel we welcome you in okay person a let's start with you action from your end towards person b or otherwise three of swords why the three of swords why are you hurting i think person b is trying very hard not to break your heart why the three of swords because they're not making a choice. Person A says, I'm, my heart is breaking because they refuse to make that choice. Yeah, but person A feels uh, abandoned, they feel sad, they feel uh, lost, they feel, you know, why aren't things working out? Okay, so person A is kind of heartbroken because their person refuses to make that choice. This is not a sadness, there's a lot of regrets and you know stuff that broke down in the past. Okay, so person B, you tell me action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Knight of Wands, how is that an action? How is that an action? Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Cups, <laughs> Nine of Wands. This person is absolutely torn. They're scratching their head at the moment. I think there is something that they want to move towards, which they're very passionate about, but they, they are trying to hold themselves back. They, they, this person is stuck. They, they do see person A as as a two of cups but then they uh, I think do want to return they do want to return so what's this nine of wands what's the nine of wands you're being very confusing right now person B come on why are you holding yourself back six of swords emperor again see this person is person just moves wants wants peace in their life they're showing up as an emperor again but they are also sitting in sadness I don't know but person B is very confused right now <laughs> They, as much as they want to transform their life, they want this new beginning, they are also sitting in some sadness about, which they know they need to talk about, but they are holding themselves back. I don't know whether they are involved with somebody else that they wanted to move towards, but they want to do the right thing here. And either way, they feel, I'll have to leave somebody behind. I'll have to end something to start something new so this person is just holding back like they could be not talking at the moment it's like they this person has no clarity about what they want and that's the reason they have not been communicating uh, ten of wands in reverse what's the ten of wands in reverse why is this the overall energy spirit for Sagittarius is reading High Priestess, Judgment, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups and the Temperance card. Yep, see Hermit again. This person is, um, they're contemplating. This person is very, very stressed out. Very, very stressed out. They are confused. They just need a little time. They're trying to tap into their own inner knowledge or tap into their own intuition, whether they want to give this a second chance or do they want to start something new. They're confused, they're checking out what should I choose? And because I think they know that they have to choose a direction, I have a feeling this person may just return, but it 
may not be immediately there is a blockage there is a blockage they're trying to avoid i think maybe coming forward and they do know that if they do come forward they would have to apologize for something anyway that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste